temperatures are barely above zero and the weather's turning from snow to freezing rain. And whilst most of us can turn on the heating or get under the duvet, others are trying to bed down outside. I split up with my wife. I've been married for like eight years. Um, so I let her have the house with the kids and stuff. I lost my job. I lost, just lost everything. Just ended up on the streets. Do you, do you still see your family? Uh, not very often, no. The team at Barnabas hand out sandwiches and prayers and told me some people clearly need more. The cold, the hunger, the loneliness of, uh, of life on the streets. So that's the other part of why we're here, to try and relieve that. We found Kyle wandering the streets. He's confused and freezing. Be careful of the traffic, Kyle. Not yet. Wait! Kyle's hands were absolutely bright red. Um, so I'm still a little bit worried that he might be suffering from hypothermia. Um, we've got real fears actually for, for him tonight. Official figures put the number of rough sleepers in Manchester at nine. In just one hour in the city, we saw six. Back at the centre and warmth and foods provided, but the staff also helped the homeless get into hostels. Jack turned up today with all his belongings in one bag. He told me his story in exchange for breakfast. I've had people urinate on my sleeping bag while I've been asleep. People come up to you in the street and think that you, you, you're doing this because you want to do it. Do you really think I want to be sat on, on the street? I want what everyone else wants. Oh, it's hard. There's, there's hardly any services left for people who need help. The centre's trying to get him somewhere to sleep tonight, but they're having problems too. So we were uh, broken into at the office um, ten days ago, uh, laptop stolen, and um, it's, it's just made life extremely difficult without the computers. The number of people we're serving each and every week has increased dramatically. Uh, we're feeding the region of five to six hundred people a week. Got something to eat, something to drink. The charities provided some comfort tonight, but with at least 1,000 people in the city registered homeless and the cuts continuing, there's only so much they can do. Sarah Rogers, ITV News, Manchester. Yeah.